Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So from today onwards, we'll be starting the preparation of control system subject, especially for the gate exam for its preparation. Okay, so we'll be covering all the important topics of control system subject purely on an exam point of view. And in this video, we are going to discuss what is a control system and we are going to see about open loop and closed loop control system and its block diagram and mainly the comparison between open loop and closed loop control system. This is a very important area. A lot of questions can come from this area, especially for competitive examinations. Okay, so let's see what is the open loop control system and what is the closed loop control system. So this is an introduction video to control system. So from today onwards, we'll be doing the crash course of control system, especially for the gate 2021 preparation. Okay, so we'll be discussing all the important areas from where questions can come. Okay, so what is actually a control system? In this video, we'll be discussing about what is a control system, what are the various types of control systems, that is open loop and closed loop control system. And we'll be discussing the comparison between them because a lot of questions can come from this area. Okay, so we are going to discuss about control system. Now, what is a control system? So this control system has a lot of importance in chemical field, mechanical, medical field, aeronautical, in all these areas, there's a lot of importance to this control system subject. Now, what is a control system means? There is some system and we are going to control this system by applying of various methods. Okay, so that is a simple explanation of a control system. A system in which we are going to control some properties or some variables. Okay, so that is a simple definition of a control system. And there are mainly two types of control systems which are open loop and closed loop control system. So this is a broad classification open loop control system and closed loop control system. I'm sure that all of you have heard of these two terms open loop and closed loop. Okay, so this open loop and closed loop control systems varies or differs in mainly having feedback and without feedback so an open loop control system means there is no feedback in that control system whereas a closed loop control system has a feedback okay so let us see in detail about the open loop control system first so the first type of control system is an open loop control system this is the structure of an open loop control system there will be some process which the system will be controlling there is a controller which is a heart or the core of the system then there is a time uh, generator or a timing circuit which is used to turn on and off the controller based on this timing only the controller is getting turned on and turned off there is no connection from the output to this controller okay so at a particular time the uh, controller will start working and will start controlling the process and when the uh, timing circuitry will turn it off this controlling process will get turned off and this controlling is actually happening based on some reference input this input is fed to the controller and the controller will produce some signals to control the process so this is a very simple system actually okay there is no feedback or anything just there is a controller and there is a process when that controller is turned on it will control the process when it is off there is no controlling happening okay so this is a open loop control system okay now, when you are connecting a feedback to this, that is from the output to the input side, then it is converted to a closed loop control system. Okay, now let's see about the closed loop control system. So next type of control system is closed loop control system. You can see that this is a closed loop. The open loop uh, control system is actually an open loop. There is no uh, closed path in that control system but here you can see a closed path right so this that is why it is called a closed loop so there is actually a closed loop okay now here if you uh, observe there is an, there is one major difference happening because there is a feedback connection from the output side to the input side so the output is measured with the help of a measurement device and that is fed to the input side and this this measured value is compared with the desired output okay so the desired output whatever we want as our output which is our desired output is actually fed to this side 
okay and it is compared with the actual output and when there is some difference that is when there is some variations from the desired value this unit will send that signal to the controller the controller will get activated and it will in turn control the process to produce the desired output so this is the closed loop control system working this is a very simple uh, working only difference is that there is a measurement device and the measurement device will be some uh, analog device for example if there is some temperature controlling happening in this system then it will be a thermometer okay it will be producing an analog signal and that will be converted with the help of a a to d converter and it will be fed the resultant value will be fed to this unit and if there is some variations then that will be fed to the controller as a signal that is when there is some variations happening a signal will be sent to the controller and the controller will control the process okay so this is a closed loop control system so we have discussed about the basics of open loop and closed loop control system and next is the most important part which is actually the comparison between the open loop and closed loop control system so when you are uh, approaching this topic that is if you are approaching this topic in a competitive exam point of view the next part that is a comparison part is the most important one because a lot of questions can come from the comparison between open loop and closed loop control systems okay so let's see about the comparison between open loop and closed loop control system so next we are going to see the comparison between open loop and closed loop control system we will be comparing these two systems based on nine points the first one is effect of output on input so we have seen clearly that for a open loop control system there is no connection between the output and the input right that is there is no feedback path for a open loop control system and there is no effect on the input whether whether your output is varying or not it is actually depending on the uh, there is the input is not actually getting affected from the output whereas for a closed loop control system you have clearly seen that your output is fed back to your input side and the output depends on the input that is there is a connection between output and input they are related okay so when there there is some variations happening to the the output then the controller will again start to start to control the process so there is a connection between output and input so that is the first point second one is stability so for a open loop control system they are very stable whereas for closed loop control system they are less stable okay so the stability is more for a open loop control system since they are very simple they are not getting much affected by the external disturbances and all so there is simple construction simple working and they are more stable whereas for a closed loop control system their stability is less third point is accuracy so in terms of accuracy open loop control systems are less accurate because when there is some variations happening to the output since there is no feedback path the the variations may affect the system and the results may not be so much accurate so that is less accurate but for a closed loop control system we have seen that the variations is measured by a measurement device and it is fed to the input and when there is some variations the controller again gets activated and it produces a signal to control the process so it produces a more accurate result or it is more accurate system okay the fourth one is response to external disturbance so for a open loop control system there is no reaction or there is no response to the disturbance why because the controller is connected to a timing circuit which will turn on and off the device and based on which only the controlling is happening so it is not getting affected by the external disturbances whereas for a closed loop control system it actually depends on some disturbances because the output is measured by a measurement device which is an analog device so if there is some variations happening to the environment or uh, the surroundings the measurement device will produce some uh, variations in the measurement and it will in turn affect the system okay so 
this closed loop control systems will affect will get affected by the external disturbances the fifth one is ease of construction so we have seen the block diagrams upper loop control systems are having comparatively very less complex structures or they are very simple structures and they are easy to construct whereas closed loop control systems are complex structures and they are difficult to construct okay so ease of construction is less for a closed loop control system the next comparison is based on cost so the this column is for open loop control system and this is for closed loop okay so for cost open loop control systems are less complex structures and they are cheaper whereas closed loop control systems are costlier then seventh point is bandwidth it is a very important uh, comparison point so the bandwidth requirement of open loop control systems are less whereas closed loop control systems have larger bandwidth consumption or requirement as compared to open loop and also it depends on the feedback for negative feedback control systems so this uh, closed loop control system can have feedback which can be either positive feedback or negative feedback okay so if the feedback is negative then the bandwidth requirement is more and if the feedback is positive then the bandwidth requirement is less so please note this also this is this is very important i have seen questions coming from this area okay so that is the about bandwidth so in general you can say that the bandwidth requirement of closed loop systems are more then eighth point is maintenance open loop control systems have low maintenance since they are com less complex structures they have less maintenance whereas closed loop control systems have more maintenance the last point is feedback which is actually a very basic point feedback is not present for open loop systems and feedback should be always present for closed loop control system it can be positive feedback or negative feedback okay so these are the points of comparison between open loop control system and closed loop control system so in this video we have discussed about the basics of control system and also we have discussed about open loop and closed loop control systems its block diagram and mainly the comparison so if you found the video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends because this topic is very important especially for competitive examinations okay and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching